All right, imagine walking into a salon and then walking out with a multi-million dollar business idea. Well, that's exactly what happened when one entrepreneur's quest to look and feel fabulous actually turned into a mission to make high quality beauty affordable for everyone. And now she is here to share her secrets to growing a successful company just like she did. All right, we're ready to take notes here. Folks, joining us now, CEO and founder of Glam Seamless, Alexandra Kristen, thank you so much for being here but first things first you had a million dollar idea did you know it was a million dollar idea when you had it no i just was super passionate about hair extensions and i love with my passion and that kind of resulted in success so we kind of pitched this alexander like you walked into a salon you walked out with a million dollars i know that's not what happened so <laughs> talk about some of the biggest challenges you faced while making this into a reality Yes, so I was 23 years old and I went into a salon, I wanted these extensions, they were too expensive, and I went home to go find them online. I thought to myself, you can find everything on the internet, so I went to search and I could not find anything. And I decided at that point that I was going to create these extensions just for myself. I also was recently laid off, so I needed a side hustle, and uh, hair extensions are something I've worn for over 15 years. So I started with literally two products, a dark color and a light color, went on to Alibaba, and I have $1,500, and I put up a website within two weeks, made a YouTube video, and voila, my company, Glam Seamless Hair Extensions, was born. Okay, I have to ask, and I didn't want to turn to you and ask for a while, because I didn't want people to think I was saying you have extensions in your hair right now, but how much are extensions? You said you couldn't afford them at 23. How expensive are these things? Uh, they can be, you know, now they're a little bit more affordable, but okay. eight years ago, extensions were extremely expensive. Now there's, you know, more companies out there making it affordable, and that's exactly what Glam Seamless was all about. You know, we wanted to bring something to the market that was high quality, but affordable. Um, prior to Glam Seamless, all you could find was really, really expensive extensions on the market, and so that was the difference with us. We added more value with our product and created a really great price point for people, and and that is what really helped people begin to able to afford extensions. Okay, sorry, I went a little sideways yeah, there, but no, I was curious yeah. how much are extensions. It, it was a good question, and I know a lot of people are at home watching thinking, oh my gosh, look what she did. I need a side hustle that turns into my main hustle. What advice do you have for young entrepreneurs out there just looking to get started? Yes. So when it comes to starting a business, we are so lucky in today's day and age, there is so many resources out there for you to get started. It's so easy to create a website, market your products on social media and start selling immediately. You don't need a business plan. You don't need any special type of funding. I had $1,500. So all you need to do is choose a product that you're extremely passionate about. The path to entrepreneurship is extremely difficult, but when you can choose something that you are absolutely passionate about, it doesn't feel like work. So definitely I would say choose something you're passionate about. Be very resourceful with your money. When you're starting out, you know, it's very, very hard to decide where you're going to invest your money. And so deciding where to put those funds is critical. Well, you've certainly <laughs> laid a foundation that I know a lot of people are going to want to build upon. So speaking of that, we're going to ask you to stay with us because when we come back, we're going to launch our pitch a day challenge. And Alexandra is going to give a couple of our viewers who started their own businesses like this one, the chance to compete for some actual cash. We will meet our first contestant right after the break. Also coming up, we'll be talking to Becky G, the Latin pop star and now podcaster. Joins us here. Stay here. All right, welcome back to GMA3, and all week long we are meeting small business owners who took a leap of faith in starting their own companies, and now they'll pitch why they should win $5,000 to try to take their business to the next level. And today we are kicking off a little competition that we're calling Pitch Payday Challenge. Yeah, that's right. We are joined by CEO and founder of Glam Seamless, Alexandra Kristen. She is going to share her business advice with today's contestant, and then at the end of the week, she will choose whose company she will support with that $5,000. This is our first contestant today is in need of a little creative inspiration. She left her 9 to 5 in advertising to start her side hustle. So let's meet today's entrepreneur. 
Hey y'all, I'm Bianca Key. I'm the creator and owner of Yo Soy Afro Latina, which is a brand that highlights the people, culture, and experiences of Afro Latinas. Um, and I have branded merch. We sell t-shirts, coffee mugs, hats, you know, we have it all. I wanted to create a business um, and a product that I personally love and that I knew that, you know, I could wear on a daily basis. So something that was bold and empowering, but cute. Yo Soy Afro Latina is inspired by my heritage. I am a fusion of two really dope cultures. I'm Black American and I'm Mexican American. There was a time in my life where I felt like, you know, I didn't see myself on TV. I didn't see myself in newspapers. Afro Latinidad was, you know, something that, yes, has always been around, but it was never talked about. I want to expand Yo Soy Afro Latina into an empire. And I also want to have an impact on my communities by empowering them to really embrace their identity and walk in their truth. And Bianca joins us now. We're very excited you want to expand into an empire. So to do that, we're going to give you a chance to first tell Alexandra why you should get that money for your business. So take it away. Yes, definitely. So Yo Soy Afro Latina is a brand that highlights the people, culture, and experiences of Afro Latinas through our custom lifestyle and apparel merch. Growing up, I didn't see my culture represented in the marketplace, and it's very important to me to change that for other Afro-Latinas moving forward. I want my company to be a place where those same people can have a platform to celebrate and express pride in their heritage. So if I were to win this money, it could help me invest in product development to diversify our product portfolio and introduce higher quality pieces. It would also allow me to create our products in-house and further build out our Yo Soy Afro Latina team, which would provide opportunities to other black and brown creatives. But most importantly, growing my business would allow me to bring my online community together in real life to celebrate a culture that is just as diverse as it is rich in pride. All right, Alexandra, should we just give her the money now? <laughs> uh, no, Alexander, give her some advice here. She talked about um, about growing the business. She wants to build an empire, but that starts with some smaller steps. And you heard her describe kind of what she would do uh, already with that 5000 So what do you think she should do to grow her business? Yes, just looking into your brand and the website, social media, I love exactly the branding you have going on for you. I get exactly what you're selling. The minute I land on the website, as I go through the social media, you have a lot of potential here to scale up this business. I absolutely agree with you that if you were to invest in expanding the product line, you would be making more money faster as opposed to say getting an office or investing in you know, hiring models. Um, one other thing I would do if I were you is invest in in product imagery I would love to see a little bit more images of maybe you know all the different shirts that you carry just not necessarily on models but on you know product imagery and in the beginning of starting a business you have to be very resourceful so I would actually find recent college graduates that are looking to build their product photography portfolio and they will actually probably shoot for free so in the beginning of building a business you know you have to decide even if you get the five thousand dollars this week Putting that $5,000 to work is going to be so important, putting it in the right places. And if I were you, I definitely would put it into expanding product and I would put it into product imagery so you can you know, shoot the product in different ways. At the end of the day, business is all about branding and marketing. So you have a great brand going for you and now it's just continuing to put those dollars into the marketing to continue to scale the business up. All right, great tips there, Alexander. Bianca, we wanna thank you so much for joining us today and we're gonna have you back at the end of the week with all of our other contestants when Alexandra will choose the winner of our Pitch Payday Challenge. So, Alexandra, we'll see you again tomorrow when we meet our next contestant. Well, that was $5,000 worth of free advice there, wasn't so. it? Yeah. <laughs>